A Japanese salaryman is hit by a truck, and reincarnated as a baby, in a world filled with magic. He is taken in by the wizard, Merlin Wolford, who names him Shin, and raises him as his grandson. As Shin grows he is taught magic by Merlin, magical item craftsmanship by Merlin's friend Melita, and swordplay by the warrior Michael. At age 10 Shin successfully slays a demon, so Merlin tells him about finding him in the forest, but Shin already knew this as he has memories from his previous life. At age 15 Merlin realizes he never taught Shin common sense life skills. He is also hesitant to let Shin enter society as Shin has been using his previous life's scientific knowledge to invent spells that could turn society upside down. While discussing the issue Shin learns his uncle Dis, big brother Sieg, and big sister Chris are actually King Dizium of Earl Sheed, Christina of the Royal Guard, and Siegfried the court magician, all old friends of Merlin. It is decided Shin will attend Earl Sheed Magic Academy to learn about society and make friends, so they move to a house in the city. While exploring Shin saves two girls from thugs and, having never met girls his own age, is immediately smitten with one of them. The girls, Maria and Sicilian, also hope to join the academy. Sicilian, whom Shin is smitten with, also develops a crush on him. Shin earns the enmity of Kurt, who leaves after being scolded by August, King Dissium's son, Shin's cousin. Shin comes first in the exam and has to give a speech. Kurt is furious to discover he is in A class, while Shin made it to the higher S class. Shin makes changes to the protective spells on his academy uniform. Sicilian confides to Shin, she has repeatedly rejected Kurt who is now threatening her. August uses his royal status to force Kurt to leave. Shin invites everyone to his home to ask Merlin and Melita if he can alter Sicilian's uniform to protect her against Kurt. Melita reveals this would make Sicilian's uniform a national treasure level item. Sicilian tries to refuse, proving to Melita that she is honest and worthy of the protection. Dizium asks Shin to never reveal that he can create national treasure items, or it could lead to inter-kingdom war, though he does ask for uniforms for August, Julius, and Thor. Maria sensibly refuses one. Shin offers to take everyone home using his teleportation spell which was also supposed to stay secret. Shin starts escorting Sicilian to and from school. Shin decides not to join any clubs, so August suggests he start his own, which the entire class insists on joining, so the ultimate magic study group is formed. Dissium's council discuss the increase in demon sightings, so Dissium orders an investigation. Kurt's father confronts Kurt about his behavior. Kurt snaps and rants about the worthlessness of commoners and his hatred of Shin, so his father withdraws him from the academy. August wonders why Kurt changed so radically, and Thor reveals Kurt's behavior changed after visiting Mr. Strom, a blind teacher who was exiled from another kingdom. Strom visits Kurt and casts a spell on him. Shin accidentally reveals another secret when he tells his friends, he killed a demon when he was 10. Shin suddenly senses a demon, before Kurt appears and tries to kill them all, having transformed into a demonoid. Shin forces everyone else to run while he faces Kurt, hoping he can destroy the demon magic while sparing Kurt, but when Kurt begins a spell that would destroy the entire academy, Shin is forced to kill him by severing his head. August warns him destroying a demonoid will make him famous and his life very difficult for the foreseeable future. Shin theorizes that Kurt was a victim of human experimentation. Dizium presents Shin with a medal for destroying Kurt. Merlin is angered that Dizium is involving Shin in politics, but accepts it is necessary. Shin's fame means his tutors have to test students wanting to join his study group to keep membership manageable. Dizium explains to his counsel Shin's theory Kurt was artificial. Two students manage to join Shin's group, Mark, son of a blacksmith, and Olivia, daughter of a restaurant owner. Shin asks Mark to upgrade his sword to better handle his enchantments. The security bureau investigates Strom who expresses remorse at Kurt's death. The investigators invite him to help by studying Kurt's corpse, but once at the castle the investigators reveal Kurt's name was never made public. Exposed, Strom destroys part of the castle. Shin engages him in a duel that destroys Strom's mask, revealing he is not blind but has demonoid eyes. Shin casts a heat ray spell, so hot it turns the sand floor to glass, leaving Shin unsure if Strom disintegrated or escaped. Dissium's council congratulates him on his victory, and though he tries to explain his heat ray spell, they have no idea what he is talking about. Strom is revealed to have escaped and survived. Melita is concerned Shin and Sicilian are not yet a couple. Shin shares his concern that Strom is alive so August pays Mark's father to design a new sword. 
The king of Blusfia learns from Zest, his spy, that Rashid is troubled by demons, and plans to invade. Shin decides to buy Sicilian a ring, flustering her, until he reveals, it is for another defense enchantment, angering his friends at his idiocy. Dizium presents Shin with his medal in a public ceremony, while also promising Shin will never be used in politics or war. Shin decides to help his friends level up, but struggles since casting his spells requires understanding of science his friends don't possess. Strom and his subordinate Miria are shown secretly manipulating Blusfia's king. Shin's friends are inspired when Merlin explains it is possible to learn Shin's spells, showing he can now use Shin's teleportation spell. Shin collects his new sword which features a detachable blade to make replacing it easier if it breaks. August wonders if the design can be used by the military to cut down costs, especially with war against Blusfia approaching. Despite Dissium's promise, Shin decides he will join the war if necessary to protect his family and friends. Earl Sheed defeats Blufia's army. Strom kills the king and destroys Blusfia, passing a message to Dissium's council that he destroyed Blusfia and turned a dozen of its strongest magicians into demonoids under his control. Dizium declares academy students must train alongside students of the Knight Military Institute, upsetting everyone as Knight students are notorious bullies. Shin forms a team with August, Sicilian, Maria and four Knights, Kreez, Miranda, Noon and Kent. Fed up of the Knights' attitudes, August orders Shin to let the Knights fight demons without them. Shin learns their team advisors are Siegfried and Christina. After finding a boar demon the Knights are swiftly defeated, forcing Shin to save them by severing the boar's head. The knights realize how much they still have to learn, and how important support from a magician is. Sicilian heals their wounds, causing the three knight boys to develop crushes on her, causing Shin, Maria and Miranda to become jealous. More demons attack, so an annoyed Shin, destroys them all with a massive explosion spell. Impressed, Miranda apologizes for being jealous of Shin's abilities, then apologizes to Sicilian for insulting her boyfriend, causing massive embarrassment to both Shin and Sicilian who insists they are not dating yet. The knights and magicians start learning to fight together, but the other magician and knight teams fail to get along. Shin feels guilty after learning that, having taught some of his spells to his study club, they will be forced to form a special team after graduation, under command of August, and will be supervised by the kingdom for the rest of their lives. However, the entire club is pleased since they view it as recognition of their abilities and a guaranteed career. Days later August tells them most of Blusfia has been destroyed, and even more demonoids have been created from their population. Suspecting Strom is behind it, Shin decides to put the club members through a training camp over summer break, with Sicilian offering use of a hot spring her family owns. Merlin and Melita insist on coming along as chaperones, not trusting boys and girls together without adult supervision. At the resort even Sicilian's family servants tease her about her future relationship with Shin. Merlin is happy to find Shin has made such excellent male friends. Melita amuses herself making the girls jealous about each other's breast sizes in the hot spring, then declares she and Merlin are also going to train the club members to be as strong as possible. Shin succeeds in making his explosion spell even stronger, earning punishment from Melita for his recklessness. August and Shin visit August's home and find August's fiance Elizabeth and little sister May, who are both furious because August didn't invite them to meet Melita, and now both insist on attending the training camp. Elizabeth admits she has an ulterior motive, to make sure Shin doesn't steal August from her, since Shin is all August talks about. August warns Shin that unless he confesses to Sicilian, soon she may end up with someone else. Later, when Sicilian blurts out a desire to have children with Shin, he realizes August is right, and confesses his love to Sicilian, who confesses she loves him too and becomes his girlfriend, though their first kiss is ruined when they realize all their friends, Merlin, Melita and Sicilian servants were all spying on them. The next day Shin insists on training at the beach, using it as an excuse to play magician's volleyball. Late at night everyone reminisces about their childhoods, but when Melita bursts in to tell them to sleep they all hide. Shin accidentally leaps into Sicilian's bed to hide, her cries alerting Melita everyone is still awake so she lectures them mercilessly. Shin informs Sicilian's parents, Cecil and Eileen, that they are dating. Cecil is overjoyed but Eileen warns him, Sicilian being a Viscount's daughter comes with expectations, so Shin agrees to become Sicilian's fiancé. Merlin invites Elizabeth and May to Shin's training. Elizabeth admits, she can't use magic but May shows potential. Strom's demons attack merchant caravans, disrupting the country's food supplies. Shin invents a spell that allows him to fly but again no one understands his explanation. 
Melita and Merlin explain to Sicilian's parents that Shin is not their biological grandson, but Cecil and Eileen reassure them they accept Shin for his character, not his bloodline. Shin creates even more national treasure clothing to protect the club members on their next demon hunt. As Mei feels left out he creates a magical device to let her talk to them on the hunt, infuriating Melita that he has created yet another society-altering device. Shin lets the club members do the fighting, proving they are now strong enough to kill demons without him. Shin and Sicilian attend a party to announce their engagement. Despite having gone through the formal process of engagement, Shin waits until after the party, to privately ask Sicilian to marry him with an engagement ring. Strom completes his destruction of the Empire, by demonizing commoners, who kill the nobility. With the Empire destroyed Strom claims he has achieved his goal, and no longer needs an army, so he sets the demonoids free. Miria questions his hatred of the Empire, so Strom explains that he was a lord of the Empire, but he disagreed with the Empire keeping slaves, and made life for commoners as prosperous as possible. The other lords hated him, as most of their workforce moved to live on Strom's lands, reducing their tax profits, so King Harold framed Strom, for kidnapping commoners living on his land to sell his slaves. The furious commoners set fire to Strom's home, killing his wife Arya and their unborn son. Fueled by grief, Strom demonized himself and swore to destroy the Blusphia Empire. Now having achieved his goal, Strom becomes aimless. Zest sends his subordinate Lawrence, to convince the demonoids to attack the Swede kingdom, neighboring Earl Sheed, hoping to draw Shin into a battle, and provide Strom with the new goal of destroying Shin. At a ceremony naming August as Dissium's official heir, news reaches them of the attack on Swede. Shin announces he is renaming his club the Ultimate Magicians before they fly to Swede. Shin and the Ultimate Magicians make it to Swede in minutes instead of several days, and begin slaughtering the shocked demonoids, while August gives a speech rallying Swede's citizens and soldiers. During the battle, the magicians make several discoveries that all the demonoids are commoners of the destroyed Blusphia Empire, and somehow retain their sanity, and all possess a hatred for the nobility. Sicilian busies herself healing the injured. Lawrence observes Shin in secret and is astounded by his magical abilities, coming to believe that he might not have any weaknesses Strom can exploit. August and Maria face the demonoid's leader, Fabro, and eventually, defeats him despite him using defensive magic items stolen from Swede soldiers. With over a hundred demonoids dead, Lawrence is shocked not only at Shin's power, but also at the power of the ultimate magicians. Nearby, Zest wonders if he should reconsider manipulating Strom into fighting Shin, unsure if Strom would survive. Needing to save Lawrence, and as many demonoids as possible, Zest asks Miria to intervene. Strom, who knew all along about Zest's plan, decides he might as well go along with it. With Miria as a distraction, Lawrence and the demonoids retreat. Sicilian fails to heal a man's injuries, but Shin invents a multi-step healing spell, saving the man's life, and leaving August wondering how powerful Shin is going to become. August requests Swede to form an alliance with Earl Sheed, should either kingdom be attacked. August and Shin decide to travel to as many kingdoms as possible, to form alliances and make it possible for Shin to teleport to any kingdom being attacked. Dizium is proud August intends to seek alliances with other kingdoms. Merlin and Melita tell Shin to keep August safe on his journey. Elizabeth and May insist on going too, as does every ultimate magician. Strom is irritated his subordinates lost to Shin, but requests Miria keep him informed if their plan to conceive a baby together has been successful. Zest is unsure if he should be glad, or afraid, Strom has decided to make defeating Shin his new purpose. Shin and the magicians set off for the next kingdom. Merlin and Melita realize that they can fully relax for once, only for the magicians to teleport back, revealing they intend to teleport back every night, to save money on renting rooms for 14 people. And that's it. Thank you for watching.